I'm Grace from Storytime Love. Today we're going to learn about hippos in the book Hippos Are Huge by Jonathan London. Hippos are huge! Except for elephants, no other land animals are as large as hippopotamuses. They can weigh as much as 50 men. A full-grown bull weighs up to 4 tons and can be 12 feet, almost 4 meters long. A hippo has the biggest mouth of any animal except for a whale. In fact, whales along with dolphins and porpoises are hippo's closest living relatives. A hippo's jaw can open 4 feet, more than 1 meter. You wouldn't want to try it, but you could stand a baseball bat straight up inside a hippo's mouth. Watch out! Hippo's yawn is a threat, it means stay away. Which do you think is the most dangerous animal in Africa? A lion? A crocodile? No. Would you believe that the hippo is the most dangerous animal in Africa? Though it's hard to prove, many sources claim that hippos kill more people in Africa than any other wild animal does. Mothers sometimes kill to protect their young, while bulls kill to protect their territory. With their monstrous jaws and razor-sharp tusks, Hippos can bite a giant crocodile in half, or chomp a small boat in two. And they are fast. They can run faster than a human, and they can travel faster in water too. Hippos' tusks can probably grow longer than your arms. Hippos don't really swim. Look, first Hippo dives with her ears pressed against her head and her nostrils closed. Next, she bounces gracefully along the bottom, kicking off with her hind legs and glides, then dances on her tiptoes and kicks off again. A hippo can run 25 miles or 40 kilometers per hour and travel 6 miles, 10 kilometers per hour in the water, faster than an Olympic swimmer. You might think such huge creatures would be awkward underwater, but they're surprisingly graceful. Like whales, hippos communicate underwater with clicks, squeaks, and deep, thunderous bellows. Hippos can hold their breath for up to five minutes. Hippo bursts through the surface, spouting fountains of water from her nostrils. Hippos must stay in the water as much as possible to keep their skin from drying out. On land, their skin oozes a slimy reddish oil that acts as a sunscreen. To avoid the hot sun, hippos do their grazing at night. When Hippo isn't dancing along in the water or chasing crocodiles, she spends most of the day with just her eyes, ears and nose sticking out of the water, resting and watching. A cattle egret picks its dinner of insects from Hippo's ears. A fish nips tidbits of food stuck between Hippo's teeth. Yum! You might think that hippos would snap at birds or fish that came near them, but they don't, because they're helping each other. Just then, a great commotion erupts, and Hippo watches as two bulls square off. The two bulls turn and stand, rump to rump. They then swing their tails like baseball bats and swat balls of dung at each other. A male hippo is called a bull, a female is called a cow, and a baby is called a calf. Splat! Splop! It's a smelly message to keep out. When this doesn't work, the defending bull yawns to show off his powerful tusks, then pounces with a great roar and attacks with giant jaws. Hippo watches as they honk and snort until finally the defeated bull limps away. Battles can be bloody and can rage for more than an hour. Both bulls will show you battle scars. Stronger bulls get to mate with the cows in and around the nursery, where mothers take turns watching the calves. Cows start having their babies when they are 7 or 8 years old. In the nearby nursery, Hippo watches baby hippos playing. Playing is good practice for when the bulls will need to protect their territory from other bulls. Two calves play fight in a hippo tug of war with their jaws locked together. Soon it will be Hippo's turn to mate, and in a few months she'll have a baby of her own. Hippos mate in the shallow water during the dry season, and calves are born in the water eight months later, in the rainy season, when the grass is plentiful. Months pass, the rains come and fill the lakes and rivers, and now it is time. 
Hippo stands neck deep in water and a baby is born. A newborn calf weighs 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. Baby Hippo paddles to the surface and his head pops up for his first breath. Then he dives back down and nudges Hippo's teats for her milk. For the first four months, he'll only drink his mother's milk. Hippos are herbivores and their main food is grass, which they eat at night. Adults may eat up to 100 pounds, 45 kilograms a day. A few weeks later, Hippo and her calf join the nursery and wallow in the mud. They snuggle together and gently lick and nuzzle each other. All hippos love to wallow in mud, which keeps them cool. And though hippos are ferocious, they can be gentle too. Though baby hippo looks tiny next to his mother, when he's six months old, he will weigh 500 pounds. Hippos are huge! Did you enjoy learning about hippos? Historically, hippos have lived throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, but now their numbers have been vastly reduced as they are largely confined to protected areas. In 2006, hippos were added to the endangered species list as vulnerable. Still, they are hunted illegally for their meat and their ivory tusks. With help from conservationists, long may these giants who dance underwater with their whale-sized jaws and small twirling ears survive! What story shall we read next on Storytime Love? <laughs>